Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And uh, let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. So, I went to the rodeo. Yeah, Why you... to the rodeo. Bro. Yeah, bucking broncos. Yeah. Roping cow pokes. Yep. You poke a cowboy? I poked all the boys. That's what's up, man. Good Bro. for you. What's up? It's weird. Yeah. The Imagine rodeo that. is so weird. Imagine it's like that. it's part of my culture, and it is weird as ish. <laughs> Part it was culture. too yeehaw for me, man. It was too hee-haw? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Okay. Oh my god. So yeehaw is one thing, let, but if it's yeehaw. Let me let me like I will say I I enjoyed my time there, I guess. Will I ever go I again? Guess. No. No. Um wow. now if like a group of like 20 people is like, let's go to the rodeo and have a good time, sure. But I'll go do anything if 20 people are going, right? Okay. So Really? I go. Okay, all right. And uh, oh, dude, it's insane! So the very first thing that happens mm -hmm. is they start playing this video. You know, like they do like a video intro to stuff a lot of times. You yeah, know, like, they okay. Did, they did so it when like, we saw oh, the they're gonna, they're gonna hype you up for. No, it was literally a three-minute video <laughs> that all it talked about was that if you don't stand up for the national anthem. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not, I'm not, fucking, I'm not even Are joking. you serious? It, that if you don't stand up for the national anthem, you do not respect the military. And like basically it was shaming everyone in the stadium that they better stand up for the national anthem. Are you freaking It literally serious? said like, if you respect your brothers and sisters who are out in the war fighting in the military, you stand for the anthem. Three minutes long. Three minutes. I, okay. So then, so then that gets done. Okay. And like they ended up, lady comes out on a horse with wow. an American flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes in the middle of the stadium. Guy goes, I'd like to let everyone have a prayer. Brother. <laughs> this is so <laughs> you paid to get preached to. Bro. Twice. So, so he, a whole prayer, whole three minute prayer. At one point in the prayer, I don't know how he phrased it exactly, but he literally said, like, Lord, let all our brothers and sisters here tonight who do not see the faith pick up something from this sermon and take the faith home or something like that. Basically saying, like, if you ain't Christian, I hope you go home, Christian. Oh, my God. Most interesting part, as soon as he started praying, the horse that the lady was on took a giant crap right in the middle of the arena for, like... 15 seconds just turds falling out of this horse's butt oh my god dude. then that's that's crazy right right then somebody came out and sang the national anthem did they sing it with god's name in place of america I, I, <laughs> god bless god uh, <laughs> bro i was like i got done that's and i was just like word. it hadn't even started yet and i was like what the hell is going on here? Yeah. So, all right. So that's that. That's the beginning, right? Wow. I went, you know, I had a church experience too. I'm not going to tell you about it, but it was, it was an interesting one. So neither one of us has been to church and in... I've only been like three times my whole life. Okay. It's so, been a long time for me. So they have, they have this guy dressed up like kind of like a clown. No okay. That's like wandering around on the grounds the whole time. Yeah, he's he's, he's there to distract the bulls when the riders well, get knocked right, off. Right, but he's also there's there's an announcer and he's talking to the guy in the ring. Mm -hmm. And he's like making really bad jokes. He like made jokes <laughs> about like my wife at home do, 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 like jokes my about how terrible his wife is. He he be making like dad jokes like Anyway, so there's that. Now, I was like, this is very awkward. Like, he made a bunch of really, like, crass jokes about, like, women and stuff. Like, and we're in a rodeo. Like, there's a bunch of women and kids there. Was everybody laughing at the women jokes? Oh, God. Like they were so, everyone was just cracking. I don't know. They were like, so, ha, ha, women are stupid. So, the first, the first thing, <laughs> bareback horse riding. Hell yeah, dude. So, that that's was, no saddle. That was actually the coolest part of it all. Really? Talk about a bucking bronco. Yeah. These flipping horses, dude. Like, I was like. How are these guys' arms still in socket? So that was wow. cool. Okay. Then they did some saddle horse, same thing. That was cool. Okay. 
Then, then they did the thing where a guy was riding a horse. Mm-hmm. He had to jump off the horse onto the back of a small cow. Okay. And then he had to grab the horse by the horns and wrestle it to the ground by its neck. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's when they... Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called. but It's a cow that has the horns, not yeah, the horse. But, but it's yeah. a little cow. I got you. It's like but a dude, babe. It's a, yeah, but he like grabbed... It, like Literally, they're just like wrenching and wrenching and wrenching to get the cow on the ground. Yeah. Which is... I'm not like... I care about animals, but I'm not an animal activist by no, far. No, not at I all. felt really bad for this cow. Because he's just like... Then, the next thing... Is they're they're roping the cows, so they're like lassoing, like yeehaw, give me a lasso. Yep. They're riding a horse. The, the the cow is running. They lasso it around the neck, and then it literally like stops in its tracks and spins around by his goddamn neck. Like so, he's running like full speed, and it's just like he gets caught on a leash and just whips his by, around by his neck. Jonas, now look, I told you is that when you went to this rodeo, you were going to see animals being abused because that's literally all that the rodeo is. I didn't realize it was that Abusing bad. animals. Then they took a break. and they had a, then, <laughs> Oh, good. They gave the cows a blood yeah, of a respite. Yeah. Good. Okay. They had a bunch of ladies with Frisbees thrown in them dogs. Like the dogs were like jumping off their back and like running around. So it was very cute. That like, was better than what the monster truck had when they just had the guy throwing Frisbees to himself. <laughs> well, no, they had the motorcross and the brake. Uh, yeah, they had, but yeah. mostly it was so, just a boomerang guy. Then they came out and then they did a little bit. They, oh, they had the kids doing mutton busting where kids were riding sheep. I'm sorry, mutton bust? <laughs> mutton fuck? busting. Kids were riding sheep like horses. Oh. And they had to try to stay on as long as possible. You know, it's not bad enough that we eat them. Oh, yeah, the kids were just riding them up, dude. Let's just riding them up. <laughs> then, crazy. then came the bull riding. Which is the pinnacle event. This is right? what I wanted to see. So that was that was like the last event. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The grand finale. And uh, it was subpar. But mm. I will tell you, the only black participant in the entire rodeo was a bull rider. And he was the only one that rode for eight seconds. So I was like, get it. <laughs> Out here is the only guy. I was just like. <laughs> Look, Jonas, I don't play into that tribalism bullshit, but go ahead, brother. No, but I mean, like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad to, I'm glad to I'm see glad, there was a black I'm glad participant. There was like to see there was at least yeah, one black least dude. One. He was the most successful yeah, of hey, anyone in the hey, goddamn rodeo. Hey, like, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna say we're built different because that's not the truth. <laughs> all right, but uh, but yeah, like everyone's bull ride was awful except for that dude, and I was just like. Hell yeah, at least somebody got the goddamn yeah, right. eight seconds or whatever. That's um, crazy. A lot of the bulls were like, they'd be in the pen ready to go, and they would just like lay down. And they'd be like, all right, I guess we're going to another pen. Like, they had like eight pens lined up. I was just like. So the bulls were reluctant to perform. Oh, God, dude. It was like, I I walked away uh, going like, Peta. Wow. Peta. Peta, <laughs> where are you at? This is, <laughs> just make sure you're saying it with a T and not a D. And oh, and they also had people Pedal, riding Pedal. horses around barrels. Like it was like, let's go as fast as you can, and then like I don't know. And there was women and men, and it was <laughs> it's masculine dressage. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, Jonas. I I wholeheartedly uh, did not think that it would be to the extent that you were saying when I said animals were go- going to be abused because I did expect. I mean, come on, the yeah. bulls don't want to be there. They want to be in a field eating grass and and right, and, right, right, and right. fucking yeah, heifers. Yeah. That's what they want to <laughs> do. Whoa, ayo. They do. That's all they want to do. They want to fuck heifers and eat grass. That's all cows want to do. Right. I don't I don't think the cows want to be wrenched by the neck or have ropes thrown around their neck. And I'm glad that Oh, you- they hogtied them too, where they jumped them off, tackled them, t- tied their feet, and they had to... Look at these gentle creatures, Jonas. They're big dogs. They don't want that. <laughs> Is that what they are? They kind of are. If you ever go to our cows... <laughs> <laughs> what the... F- Oh, our cows. Yeah, yeah. Our cows, man, or our happy cows. Brother, they're just big dogs. They just want to be petted. They they get happy and they kick their legs up and stuff. It's the most adorable thing if you've ever seen a happy cow do the happy cow dance. Bro, I've never been a farmer. Um, do I eat meat to this day? I do. I've been a vegan in the past. Um, and I just think eating meat is weird. I think getting enjoyment out of hurting animals is weird. I don't go to SeaWorld. Yeah. I'm not going to a rodeo. And I'm yeah. glad that you're not going to. And you know what? Honestly, you're using your platform to say rodeos are bad. There it is. Rodeos are bad. 
There it is. Yeah. You heard it. And they even like talked about how like they even they got really into the nuts and bolts of like they gotta pay to perform and if they don't do well, they don't get paid, so cheer me real if they suck. Like and I'm just like Nope. <laughs> I was like, why are we cheering this lady who couldn't wrangle a Bronco? Why are we cheering this dude who, who got sucked off the bull, man? Yeah, so you got you got preached to, which is Clearly into response of the uh, the kneeling during the national. Oh, dude, I would have loved to go in there and knelt, dude. If I had gone, I would have knelt <laughs> just to be a social engineer, dog, bro. Record me while I kneel for the national. <laughs> the <laughs> After they shamed us for thirty minutes. Anyways, church. Uh, anything else to say about the rodeo before we go? Uh, keep your church out of my entertainment. Uh, yep. Keep your political statements out of my entertainment. Don't and, shame me to stand for the anthem. And keep your animal bu- abuse out of my entertainment. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad that I paid money to go. Amen. Yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to the crazy Tell us what you think about the goddamn rodeo. Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.